Uh, you wanna go? better off just actually aiming this myself. Okay, I hit him, but it's just not as strong as I would have hoped. <laughs> okay, I got one. Gotta reload it. Dog, you're fine, you're fine, dog. Don't don't worry. Oh, it's so time down. Must be part of the rifle's abilities or something. Oh god, the slowing down time is cool. I didn't realize I could fire this this quick. Can I shoot through this? No. Oh, I broke the helmet off. It's crazy that they've got this power armor, all they've got is a pistol. That kind of like nullifies them a little bit. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. God, that was a good throw. Fucking hell. Fucking Kobe over here. I should kill this one first. Or not. I'll go back to this one then. You know what? Let's. Switch up to the pistol and fucking get in there. Whoop. Well, those shots completely missed, but we're fine. It recoils like a lot. Get a dog. Stab him in the face. Stab him in the face. But I am like fucking up his armor so much. Dog guy. He's got so much stuff. Just take everything from him. Wait, so if I take off this armor, can I get in his armor? Or is that no? No. Okay. Right, let's loot these guys back here as well. Okay, let's go find Dr. Amari. Let's clear these guys out for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Three ball caps. Eight. Bad. Kill. Think you are. Franklin died here. Okay. Um gotta go out this way. I forgot how I'm a full strength build and I literally do not use my strength. Where was that from? Oh, there's gonna be a super mutants around here, isn't there? Hit him! I wish there was more of like a, a variety to the swing. Where? Where's this from? Oh, up, I guess. Um, rather than just like swing, swing, I was just like swing, then back swing, then. like more of a combo. I would definitely be more inclined to do it a lot more if that was the case. Hey, I hear my dog yelping. Dog? Dog? Did he go upstairs? No, you do not get to do it right. Fucking die, you bastard. Punk. This dog. Dog? I actually don't know where dog is. They were telling me to stand still. 
Let's use my shotgun for a bit for this. Things from the scratch right out here. No problem. Well, how's this working out for you guys? I have done for you. Oh. It's because the doors are locked, so they can't come in. That's funny that it's their own door and they can't unlock it. Here we go. Got it. Let me out, please. I'll take your stuff, take your stuff. I need to find dog. Why? I'll take that, definitely. Oh, this guy died with his dog. Well, that's not going to happen to us. Um... She's just pissed off for a bit. I hear him. Oh, dog. Oh, so he was up top. And he just fell down now. Right. What were you fighting up here, doggy? I think that beep was my power armor saying it was low, but... I've got eight more cores. We're finally at the point where we are just power armor boys now. I know there's a whole subsection of Fallout community where they're like, Oh, you use power armor. Let's like cheat here. You play game on easy mode. But, oh, I fell. But I was itching my nose while I was talking, so I just walked off the edge. <laughs> but I think it's so fun. I don't care if it's easy. It's just fun. Like running around in a big machine. Especially if you get out like a baseball bat and just start like bonking people. But those are the same types of people who are like, Fallout New Vegas is the only Fallout the others all suck, you should never play such a thing. And it's like, well, Fallout New Vegas is great. Fallout 3 is great. Fallout 4, great. I haven't played, I've played a little bit of 1 and 2, but not enough to like, have a very competent opinion on them. So I just, I had fun. So I'm sure they're just as great. Oh, see, look how epic that is, jumping out a window with power armor. Um, oh, random bathtub. Oh, hello, Raiders. Let me just reload for a second, and then I'm gonna go. Oh, wait. Uh, let's take off all. Oh, hold on. just hold on, guys. Just hold on. I'm trying to do something. Let's just do that. Oh, okay. That went better than expected. I would like to remove your head two piece. Okay. Uh, oh, it's got bladed knuckles. Short combat rifle. Oh, these guys actually have good stuff. I wonder if like, because we've only got one on luck. I wonder how much of a difference luck makes if you level up that a lot. Um. Where does this elevator even go? Read the elevator. Let's go somewhere. I'm oh, going down. Oh shit, I thought we were gonna go up somewhere. Uh, turn on our flashlight. Oh, it's not even dark. Oh, what the fuck? Financial district. Okay. Oh. Are they sin? What are they fighting? Nothing to there. Hey, Sin. Oh no, they saved the dog. Shoot in the face, shoot in the face, shoot in the face. Oh, no, we the dog. Don't worry, dog, didn't die to a synth. Oh, it's a legendary synth. Oh, God, I, I thought it died then. Oh, wrong button. Take his head out, take his head out. God, this synth's kind of a pussy. Give me that. Oh, what the fuck is that? 
How many raiders, man? Hey, I was just saving you. God, imagine beating these raiders. Like, you're out here just fighting, like, fucking weird robot things. And you're, like, actually getting your shit pushed in. And then suddenly it... Oh, God, I can I'm not hurting this guy. Come on, dog. We got this. And then suddenly a guy in, like, a fucking... Power armor walks in, kills the robots, turns around, calmly walks over to you and just ru like ruins your day. You're just like, ah, well, it was never going well for them, was it? Uh, oh, what's this dude? Sea captain's hat. Thank you. Right, so what is the way? What actually is this way? Who was that? Which cheeky bugger thought that was a good idea? Don't we need to find them. So I don't know what that is. My bats wasn't picking up anything. What happened to me? Is someone up in this window, maybe? Oh, yeah, I hear them. They're up at the top. Does it say I'm using a stealth boy? I'm in a suit of power armor stomping up the stairs. Hello, my friend. They're lucky I'm just using my pistol. I'm trying to conserve ammo on my good gun for now. Fuck you, man. What was he shooting at then? Take all their stuff. I want to find out what all that shooting is. Oh, it's the metal creaking. I thought that was like shooting in a distance. Well, these raiders didn't have a good day, did they? Yeah, I guess I'll take their stuff. What's up, guys? Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? First time in good neighbor. Around without insurance. Bro, I will beat the shit out of you. Back off, or you're the one who's going to need insurance. What was that? I couldn't hear over the uh, well, that okay. Pathetic. I'm gonna have to murder this dude. everything you got in their pockets. Or accidents start accidents happening. Start happening. Big, bloody accidents. Imagine being cocky enough to go up and threaten. I'm killing this guy. We're all good, right? Everybody cool with that? Cool, because I'm looting him. Hey, dude. Hey there. <laughs> I like you. Walk into a new place, make a show. Hey, he was cool with it. Nice. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? I feel you, bro. Um, <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Uh, you wanna go? Okay, they didn't like that one too much. They were cool killing me me killing this guy at least. Um, hello? Hey there. What's up? Okay, cool chat, good chat, good chat. I like how they're like, Brotherhood of Steel, let's just stay out of our goodness. It's like, these are just like a bunch of fucking druggies and bandits and shit. These are like a bunch of people in power armor. Hi, Valentine. You had forgotten about the Hello, Valentine. I may have walked out of the den, Irma, but I never... <laughs> The Dan Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Yeah, you tell him, Valentine. I guess I'm following you. Yeah? No? Maybe? Do I just go downstairs? You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Uh. 
Are you the dude? No. Who the fuck are you? Um, I could go downstairs somehow. Through here, maybe? Dog, move. Is it over this way? Okay, Valentine, thank you. You're guiding me. Okay. Oh, okay. Hello, lady. Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Uh, you can this explain. Yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp. Kellogg is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. No, you'll be fine. Please help us. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do Yes, we. come on, be a scientist. I'll take a look, but no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Imagine if I hadn't brought it with me. Here you go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Oh, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Uh, yeah, is Nick compatible? Is he compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But there you go, Nick. Works, Give me some new memories, Mr. my boy. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Yeah, we don't care. He's a creepy looking robot. Me, do he doesn't care either. Thanks, Nick. This, Nick. You can thank me when we found your son. All right, let's do this. Stick it in there, boy. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. Don't worry, Nick. I got a hammer for that. <laughs> need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it. You didn't, Doug. That's what I was afraid of. You want some cigarettes? The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has won. Are they busy? We can failed. steal all her stuff. There's a lock on the memories in the internet. Oh, um, hi. Yeah, is Nick okay? Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But if he's what too? if he's two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine. Not me, I'm not a robot, man. Run your cognitive functions in power. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Sure. Let's get started. Just sit down she thinks I'm a robot because I'm in power armor. Okay, but I'm going to loot the rest of your stuff for this. Um, right, that really was not worth it. I guess we just sit. I gotta get out of power. She just wants to steal our armor, doesn't she? Right, we'll be back for you, Mr. Power Armor. Mwah. Oh, dog, I'll be back. Oh, look at him waiting. Oh, he's such a good boy. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Dog just playing with his teddy bear. 
Can you hear me? Oh, good. The simulation appears to be what the fuck is this? I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the location. Hello? Oh, this way. This is the earliest intact memory you can find. I wonder how old Kellogg is. Hello. Turn down the goddamn radio. I'm trying Remember, to you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Oh, so this is Kellogg. I, I can loot him. Oh, was such a dumb. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but I was such a dummy back then. Yeah, you a dummy. What did I know about bitch? how the world worked? You're a little kid, what do you mean? Now, people always hoping for something better. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run this a greater nope. day. I never really knew what he did. Yeah, I don't care about your bloody dad. Wait, so is that pre-war stuff? Life, he wasn't a complete asshole. How old is Kellogg? Or, or is this actually like destroyed house? I can't tell. Mary. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter. No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. Yeah, you suck. The thing about happiness is you only know you had it. And it's gone. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you I mean, to the next You may think moment. to yourself that you're happy, but uh you don't really believe it. Oh, what is this? Focus on the petty. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> hey, look at me. You thought you could just fuck with us? Okay, tell me with you. wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died they like, like dogs. dogs. No. And I you another memory to try. weren't there to help them. I wanna see what happens with this memory. Yeah, do it. I think Kellogg just killed a few boys. It's quite cool, this little like pathway. Um, I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. Okay, and then these are just wastelanders. Always a job for someone. Oh, that's it. I didn't care okay. where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Oh, it's definitely post-war. Look at what's on the bloody San walls. As I could, yeah. Maybe. Sit down. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try the I said to what? Time. Uh, hello, Mr. Kellogg. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I was going to be looking. stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about it. First sense weren't all that impressive. Yeah, look at you. Cheese. Say cheese. Not that good. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. Getting warmer. But I figure got to tell us they were just a convenient boogeyman we're for anything bad that ever happened. Uh, they oh, were real, one all right. Mostly intact. Connecting now. Hey! Cryogenic. I was now the Institute's main operator in the no. Commonwealth. No, am I in one? <laughs> it's me. They needed no, that's something not me. done. <laughs> they came to me. Uh, it wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission. <gasps> My so wife. This one stood out. No, it's me, my wife, my was, baby. We were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. <laughs> the eggheads never liked taking. <laughs> my wife. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never liked to. And yeah, what does he think about us? I guess it did remind. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. 
Why did Tilly is alive here, bloody mother? Okay. Soft pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them. Why isn't this one alive? Like nothing's happening. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Oh, it's the house in Is that Diamond Sea. Yeah. This appears to be a it wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the, the middle of Diamond think. City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. And then it's a little like secret rooms here, isn't it? Old man's pet project. So here we were, me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Uh, wait, we just came from this way, didn't we? What way do we go from here? Excuse me? I was talking about Piper. This whole setup in Diamond City was oh. part of some elaborate. Who's this dude? The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Horsa, okay. Smarter. Stronger even like and faster him, right? than almost any real human. Pew, I'm just glad him. they were always on my side. Kill him. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like the new breed of sin. Oh damn it, I didn't I didn't this whole set up and dying. Oh god damn it. Part of some right, this one was a short my one, idea to settle down with the kid. I keep trying to loot them. <laughs> okay, we'll sit here and let them kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's uh. hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Well, some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or? Just That's blank paper, you liar. Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kid. One of the top bioscience boys. Damn. Damn. So, I guess Jump you're taking head. the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. I'll go with you. Take me instead. Sean, stay. No, Sean. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> no, take me with you. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. We're going. No, they didn't take Bye. me. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the institute because there is no entrance. Yes, what the? Pull you out of there.